Hello everyone, my name is Winters and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We are continuing on exactly from where we left off. We currently have two orders in the garage. Um, before we go any further though, uh, we have a new skill point. So we're going to spend that on the only thing that we can spend it on, which is this uh, speed boost. 25% faster walking speed. So we're going to pick that, like so. Uh, so the next time that we are able to uh, spend skill points is when we get to 35 skill points, which is three up, three more from where we currently are, and we'll be able to get these three together in one fell swoop. We won't be able to unlock any of those until we get to 35, though. That's the thing. So any of the remaining uh, abilities that we can unlock, we have to get to these various different goals. Uh, before we can get them and it also means that once we get each one we will have enough skill points banked up to get them immediately uh, from the second we unlock them right we're going to go to the phone next and we're going to see what orders we have we have a story order do we have any experience orders we don't okay so it's the story order and it is as follows hello my SUV is great on road but I feel that I shouldn't abuse it off road so, I've saved up a bit and I've got something special from a friend of mine. That thing should be well suited for some crazy off-roading. I hope I can really push it just like the previous owner did. See what needs to be fixed and change that awful interior. It doesn't go with my style. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know what goes with your style? Uh, but I guess we'll go with it anyway. So, we'll pick that order up. And, um, oh my god, that's not a nice color. I don't think I'm very crazy about that color. Uh, right. Um, okay, we're going to put it on the test path first. Engine cannot start. Of course the engine can't start. Uh, so instead, let's move it to lifter A. We'll get her up on the first level. And we'll pop the hood. And let's get a ganders. All right, oil filter. Oh, look at the gearbox and transmission. Jesus, holy Hannah. Uh, right, let's do some tests first. So we'll start off with electronics. So that means breaking out the old multimeter, like so. Okay, starter and throttle needs work. All right, that's good. Next, we're going to do a compression test. Those fuel rails don't look like they're in good condition, do they? Uh, right, everything's above average there across the board. Next is the OBD scanner, onboard diagnostics. I would imagine we're probably going to find one or two things here. We certainly did. Spark plugs, ignition coils. ABS module. Right, okay. Uh, next up, we're going to do a fuel pressure test. I can see a shock, two shocks down the back there that need work as well. Uh, fuel rail, both fuel rails need to be replaced. And finally, we're going to do a tire thread tester because let's just do it for the sake of thoroughness. And everything's above average there, um, so that's good. Wait, that's not what I want. I want to mark off what we've discovered. And there's a lot of stuff we haven't discovered. Okay. Uh, right, fuel rails, you're coming off. Um... ABS module, you're coming off. Uh, next, I need to get out the spark plug, so this cover needs to come off. Ignition coils need to come out. Right. Uh, I actually didn't need to take off that one. So I can put this one back. There we go. Alright, let's move over this side. Now, it's just these two. Like so. Do I have any spark plugs? I do indeed. 
Uh, I don't have any ignition coils, so I'm going to have to buy some of those. Let's see about this bad boy. Alright. Alright, and I need one more spark plug. Um, bup, 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 bup. I should have an ABS module. So we'll put that back on now, get that done out of the way. Uh, throttle. You're coming off. Right, we're looking good. Oh, look at the engine head. Oh. The engine head needs to be replaced or reconditioned or something. So let's get cover. Right. Um, so... I'm going to need to do the timing, aren't I? Damn it. That's a lot of stripping. all these rollers off. Belt tensioner first. Get that power steering pump off next. Water pump. Crank shaft pulley. Right, now can it come off? Uh, we need to get this head cover off. Let's get the ignition coil out first. Okay, now we should be able to get the timing cover off. Which means the belts can come off next, then the cam gears, then the cam shafts, and spark plugs they need to come out. And, ooh, intake manifolds, exhaust manifolds, they need to be done as well. Alright. Wonderful. Right, how's this head? It needs to be done as well. Alright, so let's do the same thing here. Uh, spark plugs. Exhaust manifolds. Uh, camshafts. And engine head. That brake servo doesn't look like it's in good condition. No, it's in pretty bad condition, actually. And I think I have one. I do. So let's put that back in. That's that one done. Uh, starter. Starter comes off underneath. Right. Let's get cracking. We'll lift her up. Now, let's get the oil filter off. Um, she's a four wheel drive, meaning the wheels have to come off. And the drive axles need to come out. And look at the state of this. Alright, the knuckle needs to come off, so that means I have to strip her down further. Alright, outer tie rod, inner tie rod, uh, end link, shock needs to come out, bottom suspension arm, upper suspension arm. And finally, the knuckle. Okay. Let's do the same on the far side. 
So that's the wheel. Outer tie rod. Inner tie rod. Get the calipers off. Brakes. Drive axle. Wheel hub bearing. Wheel hub. Wheel hub or knuckle cover. Uh, spring. End link. And bottom suspension arm. And where is it? There it is, the upper suspension arm. And finally, the knuckle. Alright, steering rack, you need to come out. Drive shaft. Let's get this transfer case off. Uh, starter will be next. Then the gearbox. Okay, release bearing, pressure plate, possibly clutch, and I think the flywheel is fine. Oh, clutch and flywheel are fine. Okay. Um, so, next, we're going to see what parts we can repair. Seems to be a good few that we can repair. This is great. Should save us a lot of money from having to buy all of these parts. All right. Now the only thing is I haven't got a clue what I've got and what I don't uh, like the drive axle. We don't have that. Drive axle D. Alright, let's let's buy that. Drive axle D. Here it is. Okay. I should have got a steering rack while I was at that as well. Actually, do you know what? Let's mark off everything that we've discovered. Because it will make things much easier to determine what's done and what's not done. Right. Now, we do have to change the oil, so let's do that before I uh, proceed any further and end up forgetting about it. So... We'll drain the oil. That's one job done. Do I have a steering rack? I do have a steering rack. That's excellent. Um, right, knuckle. I think I have to buy... No, I don't have to buy new ones. That's brilliant. Uh, we'll put all new bushings in. Why not? Tie rod, I have plenty. Outer tie rod, I have plenty. End link, where are you? There you are. One that came out can go back in. Uh, wheel hub. Alright, now the wheel bearing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to put anyone in. I want to put in the second hand one. That's what I want to do, which would be this one. Now the brake disc. Okay, now the drive axle. Vondova. Alright. Let's get Kraken on the other side. Ventilated. 
second hand wheel hub bearing. Brake pads. Brake caliper. Outer tie rod. Now we'll get the bottom suspension arm in. And now we'll get the upper suspension arm in. Next is the shock, then the end link. Uh, right now the drive axle. And I guess we can get the wheel on. And do I have a filter? Probably not. I don't. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Right. Okay, that is the front done. Uh, next up is uh, the clutch stuff. So I need a pressure plate and I need a release bearing. Clutch. Pressure plate. And release bearing. Where am I? Okay, now the release baron. Now is the gearbox. We do have a gearbox. Starter reconditioned. Transfer case reconditioned. Drive shaft reconditioned and the main drive shaft. Okay, now let's work on the. Uh, do you know what? Look at that now. I have to take this damn thing off again. Alright, uh, let's get the wheels off down the back. Look at all this. I should be able to recondition a fair amount of this. Um, right. Next would be the U bolts, I guess. Get these rubber bushings out. Spring next. Now the knuckle housing C. And we move over to the other side. Wonderful. we doing on time? Alright, we're roughly on the 20 minute mark. But we shouldn't be at this much longer. Probably another 5-10 minutes. Alright, U-bolts are next. Now the knuckle, and finally the axle. Alright, let's see what we can repair. Fair amount of stuff we can repair. That's great. Okay, now. What can we put back in without having to buy new stuff? The axle? Yay! Knuckle! No. Alright, knuckle housing C. We need to buy that. Um, do you know what? We'll buy that oil filter V8 while I think of it. And uh, knuckle 
housing C. Here we are, we need two of them. So we'll buy those. Great. Okay, let's see. Springs. Yep. All reconditioned. U bolts. All reconditioned. What shock? Shock absorber B. I doubt I have any of those. I don't. Um, okay, let's move over to the other side. This rubber bushing in and I guess we can get the tires back on all right it was shock absorber B wasn't it it was rear shock absorber B so we'll buy those now uh, shock Absorber B, and we need two of them. Alright, there's one. Uh, I guess we can put that on. I was aiming for the uh, uh, shock absorber, but I guess we can put the drive shaft on instead. Okay, and while we're under it, let's go and get the oil filter back on, like so. Starter, I believe, is on. It is. Okay, so I think that's us done now underneath, so we can drop her down. Okay, let's start on the engine. Did I just see that we only have one engine head? Engine head V8. We freaking do. Alright, so I need to buy an engine head V8. So let's do a search for V8. Engine head V8. Where are you, you little son bitch? There it is there. Wow. 1350 for that damn thing. Alright, next up, camshafts. Cam gears. Uh, I guess we can throw in the intake manifold. Uh, let's move over this side. Camshafts again, followed by cam gears. And exhaust manifolds. May as well do that while we're here. Alright, we'll get the one done on the far side. There we are. Uh, 
Um, bu 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 belts. Belts will be next, wouldn't it? Followed by the timing head cover. Okay, and now we can start getting the water pump, the pulleys, the rollers, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to go for the second hand ones because what came off it can go back on it. We do not need to use brand new parts. Reconditioned power steering pump. Okay, we get the crankshaft pulley on next. Uh, how are we looking? Not too bad. I think we can put the belts on now. Like so. Now there should be a belt tensioner somewhere, I think. Uh, there it is. Right, I think that is the timing taken care of. So now we can put the covers back on. Do the same over this side. Right, um, I think the best thing I can do now is mark off everything that is done. And it looks like we have a lot of stuff discovered. There's still a few items though that are not yet discovered. Jesus, what the hell would they be? Oh man, I really hope it's not something to do with the pistons. If I have to strip it all down again, that would be... No, it shouldn't be. The, the compression test should have uh, figured that out for me. Alright. Um, let's move over the other side. Actually, do you know what? let's get these uh, fuel rails in. Alright, so new spark plug here, second hand one here, and here. Alright, and second hand ignition coil. Alright, now I need to buy spark plugs and an ignition coils. Uh, plug. Um, let's buy like, I don't know, 9, 10, 11, there we go. And ignition coils and we'll buy like f seven just picking numbers out of the sky here okay now we do this side It called coils cover v8 uh, let's do a search for coils cover coils cover v8 there it is mm. alrighty next up is the throttle That ABS pump doesn't look too good, does it? Maybe I should take it off and replace it. Because I can recondition the old one. Okay. 
let's see how we're doing now. Looking good so far. Damn, I really want... What the hell would that be? Uh, break this ventilators. Huh. How did I miss that? Part not discovered. Right, so there's just one more part yet to be discovered and a break disc. Where's the break disc? What's this down here? Okay. Um, let's take a look at the air filter. Would that be? It sure is. Okay, so get the clips off. And then we can take the cover off. And we can take the air filter out. Uh, tablet, that's what I'm looking for. And, um... Here's the air filter. Now the cover can go back on. Whoa! Did I see I had a second hand one there? Yep, this is the one that's going back on, not the damn new one. Okay, that's that done. Uh, now it's just the brake disc. Uh, she's down on the ground, so I need to lift her up. Oh, actually, I need to put oil in this as well. Uh, so, oil. Let's get that done. Should be done any second now. There it is. Okay. Drop the hood. Let's get the wheel off. Break this ventilators. So I mustn't have one of those. Oh I, oh, I don't. Ah! Can I repair? Alright, break this ventilators. Break. Break disc ventilators, and we'll buy like five of them. Because then we'll have a few spares. Get this one off. We'll put the new one on. And back on with the brakes, the caliper. And finally, the wheel. Okay. That should be it done. Uh, right. All looking good there. Excellent. And the oil is finished. Right, so we spent uh, 14500 on parts just over it. And we're getting over 36000 back in payouts. <laughs> oh, God, that's brilliant. I love it. Uh, okay, so uh, that is that order complete. Uh, before we go any further, let's check the phone and see if we have any experience orders. We don't? Okay, so we're going to leave it there for now. Uh, yeah, so that uh, concludes this episode. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And uh, my name is Winters, and I'll see you next time. So until then, adios.